There have been increased sightings of wildlife in neighborhoods, beaches and parks across the Cape Fear. WWAY Celeste Smith joins us now live in the uh, studio with more. Hi Celeste, what are officials saying is causing this uptick in wildlife encounters? Well, Jeff, over the last few weeks, there have been a few cases of people being bitten by snakes. Alligators and foxes have been spotted in places frequented by residents and tourists. With the recent uptick in the number of wildlife sightings, the State Wildlife Resources Commission is asking people to remain aware of their surroundings when outdoors. Master Wildlife Enforcement Officer Clayton Ludwig shares what he thinks could be behind the increase in animal sightings in highly populated areas. Anytime it's really warm like it is, you got to be cognizant of where you put your feet, where you put your hands. If you're gardening, underneath shrubs, cleaning out uh, vegetation in your garden. Master Wildlife Enforcement Officer Clayton Ludwig shares what he thinks could be behind the increase in animal sightings in highly populated areas. Hot temperatures have the animals out moving around and with the urban development we're destroying the habitat where these animals normally would live. So they're looking for new places to live just because we kicked them out of their house. The Wildlife Commission is also asking people to report animals that seem out of place or appear to be behaving in an unusual manner. In Surf City, the fire department responded to two incidents of people being bitten by snakes last month, with one being at the dog park near the community center. The, the snake was no longer there, and the patient at that time didn't know what kind of snake it was. So when we go to a call like that for response, I mean, it's really no different than any other medical call. Typically, you know, from a snake bite, this, this snake's not going to be around anymore. But if it was some other type of uh, wildlife injury, then, you know, there could be a potential for that animal to still be around. The State Wildlife Resources Commission also encourages people to keep their pets indoors if there has been an unusual amount of wildlife in residential areas.